it's gonna rain? Good afternoon, everyone. It is a rainy, rainy day today. Okay, so this is just like a vent. I'm venting to you guys because I know that you guys probably go through the same thing. And what better way to communicate and to have a community of same uh, like thinking individuals. And I know that you guys could comment and also let me know if I am being too sensitive about this or not. But I grew up sensitive. I know when, you know, to read people. And that's just one of my, either my strength or my weakness. But there's probably like younger people out there that are uh, going through the same thing. And they can't really identify because they don't have enough experience in their lives. What I have experienced in my own life. And uh, it, 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 it's about how we react towards people who try to um, either manipulate us or make us feel bad. Where I used to work in the school, we used to have kids that are always like complaining about somebody talking about them and you know, they're lying on me. And I'm just here to let you guys know that I know how it feels because I was just betrayed by another person lately. That, but I don't know if it's a, an actual betrayal or is, usually it is perception. Usually it is um, how you react to other people and how they react to you. And that being said, don't let people put you in their box of expectations because they will. They will put you in their box of expectations and I don't want you guys to live there because you are not defined by what other people perceive you as and by that I mean that if somebody was let's just pretend like somebody didn't like your hair you know I have silver hair and um, there are people who are saying you know hey color your hair why are you trying to look old and to that I say this is who I am and I don't give a crap you think about me because even if it does kind of hurt sometimes it'll hurt uh, because you think that you don't look good and you're always thinking about what other people think about you as a person but in reality it's like they're just projecting their own insecurities on you and then you're thinking okay I'm not am I not good enough am I not good enough to spend time with am I not a good enough to be a companion am I not good enough to have fun with and all that you know like if you weren't invited let's say to a party because they just didn't like who you are you know don't define yourself by how other people define you in their own head we're all human we do that to each other but it's good to know and to identify 
when that's happening because it is your mental health, your psychological health depends on your own perception of yourself. So if you're going to define yourself according to what other people see you as, then you're never going to be able to, to fulfill the persona that other people look at you at, as. And if you do that, then you're just being manipulated and you're not being true to yourself. So when somebody does something that hurts my feelings, I've learned throughout my lifetime that either they didn't mean to do that or maybe they did mean to do that. The only person whose opinion I hold higher than mine is God, you know, and here's the thing. God will love you no matter what. And that's the whole, that that's the whole mentality that people don't seem to understand. God will love you no matter what what because you're he understands that we're all human beings and we're all faulty and we are going to hurt each other and it's it's an ongoing thing no matter what who, no matter who it is it could be a spouse it could be a family member it could be your own kids it could be um your friends your co-workers anybody it could be anybody so just keep that in mind, especially the young kids these days. You're so fixated on your appearance. You're so fixated on how people perceive you on Instagram or, or Facebook or Snapchat or maybe I'm just dating myself here. <laughs> Why? Why would you care about how you feel about yourself based on what other people perceive you as? it's not fair to you it's too much pressure on that we're putting on each other to be able to be successful in our own mind in our own hearts and so I would just let it go let it go and just say hey you know I can't control how you feel about me you can talk to them whoever that is that person that's blasting to social media it's not them it's you it's how you react to how they perceive you as and how they're blasting you to the world so for me it's I'm not perfect when this person did this to me I must admit that I was hurt for a minute okay for just one minute we're all harder on ourselves than anybody is in in our lives so you have to be able to identify that and I know there, there are young people out there um, who are hurting right now and I tell you just pray just pray because prayers are so 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 powerful and I can't emphasize that enough when you pray you feel better because I prayed and I'm like you know God why uh, why didn't they do this to me and God just reminded me like who cares about what they think about you they're just as faulty as you are you're just as much a child of God as they are and if they're not being a good person you know then just let it slip off your shoulders I know it's easier said than done but try just be the good person that you are just be caring and and um appreciative and grateful for what you have everybody will put you in this box of expectation and everybody has a different type of expectation of you so there's no way there's no possible way on god's green earth that you're going to be able to fulfill that and fit yourself in that box so my advice to you is that you fit yourself in your own box maybe there isn't a box just let yourself free be honest with everybody else especially people that you love because that's the only way to go who i am in god's eyes and who i am in god's eyes is somebody who he loves and i love him and that he will he will provide to me the the peace and the the comfort that i need in order to get through it's this crazy, crazy world. It's a crazy world, guys. And 
if everybody just thought like this, everybody just puts it in their mind that there would be no anger, there would be no hurt, there would be no um, reactive, like negative reaction towards each, towards each other. And then we would better understand each other. And it's never gonna be that way. So we have to do it one step at a time. And the longer you practice to do this when you're younger, the better it is for you when you reach my age. I'm there, I'm almost, you know, I'm at the twilight of my years. And I'm now, I'm just now realizing this because nobody ever told me. My late ex-father-in-law has always been there for me. He's always had good advice and he would be very gentle. He would be very understanding of how you, how I felt and I miss him. I miss him a lot. So for you guys out there, I am the voice of reason. <laughs> so heed my words because it will make you feel better and make you live a better and fulfilled life hopefully so if you have any questions just put them down in the comments hoping that one day um, we can do a live chat because youtube wants us to do that or um email me at jcsgirl525 at yahoo.com and tell me what your your story is i will tell you more of my story eventually when we get there but i know it's not a succulent video but um the succulents are going to be intertwined in there somehow but i want you guys to get to know me a lot better because we're going to be friends forever okay all right bye guys bye bye